Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now let's take a closer look at the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar is located above the ribbon by default. It's up here in the title bar of the application. However, you can also place it below the ribbon if desired by clicking the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button at the right end of the toolbar and then selecting the Show Below the Ribbon command. It's a small drop-down arrow here at the right of the toolbar. Give it a click and then click on Show Below the Ribbon. You'll see it's moved it down here. Now you can reset it to its default location by clicking the same Customize Quick Access Toolbar button here and then selecting Show Above the Ribbon instead and it moves it back. By default you have buttons for quick access to the following commands. We have Back, Undo, and Dock to Desktop. However, you can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the functions that you use most. One way to add a button to the Quick Access Toolbar is to right-click on any command, button, or function within the ribbon which you want to add and then choose the Add to Quick Access Toolbar command. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. In our basic text group, for example, we have our font color drop-down. I could right-click on that and say Add to Quick Access Toolbar and the function will then be added to the Quick Access Toolbar. You see that right here at the top. You can easily remove a button that you've added to the Quick Access Toolbar by simply right-clicking on the button that you wish to remove and then choosing the Remove from Quick Access Toolbar command and it will go away. Now also note that you can more thoroughly customize the Quick Access Toolbar by clicking the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button and then choosing the More Commands command. Let's look at that. Give it a click and then choose More Commands. And that will open the OneNote Options window that we see here. At the right side of the window are two sets of command button listings. The listing at the far right of the panel here is the set of button commands that are currently shown in the Quick Access Toolbar. The order in which the commands appear in this list, from top to bottom, is the order which they will display from left to right within the Quick Access Toolbar. To the left of this panel is a listing of commands that you can add to the Quick Access Toolbar, right over here. You can select which functions are shown in this list by selecting a command grouping to display from the Choose Commands From drop-down that's located above the list. This drop-down right here, give that a click. You'll see you could switch to the different tabs, the different groups, and so forth within here. Popular commands and so forth. For example, we have Delete and Cut and all those other commands. Now adding a command is very easy. To add a command to the Quick Access Toolbar from this list, click on the command that you wish to add from the choices available, then click the Add button here in the middle to move the selected command into the Quick Access Toolbar list to the right. You'll see that at the bottom. Now you can remove a command from the Quick Access Toolbar list at the right by clicking on it to select it, and then just click the Remove button to remove it from the list instead, right there. Let's go ahead and we'll add a different one. We'll just go ahead and add an email page, let's say, and we'll click Add. But let's say we want to change the order in which these commands appear. Well, you can do that as well. You can change the order by selecting the one that you want to move, and then clicking either the up or down arrow buttons to the right of the list. And you'll see that with each click it moves up the list or to the left is how it will display once it's in the ribbon area there. Or you can move it down, you can move it anywhere you want by doing that. Once you're done customizing the content of the Quick Access Toolbar, you just click the OK button in the lower right corner of the Options window to save and apply your changes. If we look up here now 
in the quick access toolbar. There's the email page command that we just added in the location that we added it. Again, if we wanted to remove that, we could simply right click on it and we could also then select remove from quick access toolbar, which again is the quicker way to add and remove buttons or as we have just seen, you can go in and customize it further using the options window that we saw. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.